this video we're going to look at OneNote. Now OneNote is part of the Office 365 suite which is incredibly powerful but not a lot of people use it. Think of OneNote as being a kind of lever arch file full of all the information that you want to take uh, on any given subject or in meetings or that sort of thing but it's the most powerful lever arch file you'll ever have. So I've opened OneNote but what we'll do is we'll open a new notebook and we'll see how things work out so we'll click on file it will automatically go to new and it will want to put your OneNote on your OneDrive if you're signed in with uh, an Office 365 or a Microsoft account this is actually quite a good idea if you wanted to do that because OneNote is device agnostic it will work on iPads on mobile phones on Android devices laptops so once it's in the cloud your notebook or notebooks you can access them on any device and what you see on every device will be the same um, but for this demonstration we're just going to pop it onto this PC but normally you would pop it onto your OneDrive or your Outlook.com account so we'll just pop it on this PC uh, we can create in a different folder by default it will put it into the my documents folder in a folder called OneNote notebooks but for this we'll just leave it where it is and we'll just call this the test notebook and create so the way this works the hierarchy of it is that we have our notebooks and notebooks are divided into sections and sections are divided into pages as well as that we can actually have section groups so you can take lots of sections and group them together under one section and you can also have sub pages under pages but we'll go through all that in a moment so here's our test notebook here's our section so we might want to rename this section we can double click it and just call it for instance meetings and then we have pages so a page could be a meeting that we have today which is the 11th of April 2018 and you'll notice that because I've put it at the top there in the title that becomes the title of the page there we may tomorrow for instance have another meeting so we can click on add page and we could call that page the 12th of April 2018 and you see we can skip between different pages within this notebook we could have different sections so I could have a section here called CPD continuing professional development and I could have a page which said something like one note training and we could have another page which said word training so we could see how things are starting to get split up and broken down now the first thing to note before we really get into this is you'll notice there's no kind of save button this is because one note constantly saves it's not something where you have to remind yourself to save it's not even something where you have to set up an auto save it will automatically as you make changes save those changes to either your OneDrive your Outlook.com account or onto your laptop so we don't have to worry about saving we can just carry on working and making notes so we have our page here and the, the meeting could be going on and any notes that we wanted to take in the meeting we can just type in notice a little box has appeared around what I'm typing and I can just move this around the page by grabbing the bar at the top I can also resize that box you'll notice it doesn't resize downwards this is because it's only interested in how wide you want the box to be uh, you can see now I've set it anything I type in will be fixed at that width now the page itself isn't just this little box that you see here what we can do is copy things paste them and you'll see that we can move things down and a scroll bar will appear and we can make some more copies and as you see the page just grows 
and effectively that page is endless and as you can see anywhere we want to we can move things around and still resize them if you go very wide on the page you'll notice that you get a scroll bar along the bottom and you can move around that way as with word or excel you can highlight text and you can change the font and the size you can bold italic underline strike through change the colors highlight those sort of things there's also some styles this can be quite useful for instance the meeting may start with and you can just put that in a heading and then just carry on other things you do we have these tags there are lots of tags that you can set things to uh, the most popular one and the one that's usually used is the to do tag so you're in your meeting and you're given a list of jobs and what I can do is I can just click on the to do tag there or it's actually within the tags so if I just click on the to do tag you'll see there's a little box appears I can press enter and it will give me the option to do more to do tags and at a later date uh, once these jobs have been done I can come in and I can just tick the box to say that they've been done as a reminder as you can see we can do all sorts of things here um, we may want to instead of having that as a to-do we may want to set that as important question as you can see you can have as many of these tags as you need could be some useful ones there password obviously if you put in passwords into a OneNote notebook be aware that if someone else can get into that OneNote notebook they can see the password and there's a few more fun things if you're doing personal lists of movies to see books to read those sort of things but as I say the most common tag is this to-do tag and you can create yourself a little to-do list within a OneNote notebook one of the other things we can do with OneNote is copy information from web pages. So I've gone to our blog here, the services blog. Um, if I wanted to copy this into OneNote, I can select it. I can right click and copy or press Ctrl and C. I can go back to OneNote. I can click anywhere on the page and press either Ctrl and V or right click and paste. And the text will go in there. What it will also do is it will give you a citation at the bottom to say exactly where you got that text from which can be very useful for research purposes and to refer back to at a later date I can also copy images so if we go to the top of the page we right click on the image copy image go back to OneNote click anywhere on the page and click paste and the image will go in you'll notice when we do copy an image there's no reference to where we got that from uh, that only comes up when we copy text what we can also do is search and when we do a search it searches across all the notebooks that we have open we can have multiple notebooks open if we wanted to so for instance if we just go to 12th of April We can be anywhere within this notebook. If we type in page, you'll see that 12th of April comes up as one of the options. Another useful feature OneNote has, and this depends on the quality of the image, is you can click on an image, right click, and make text in image searchable. The moment it's disabled, you can click it and change it to whatever language is there so at the moment we only have Spanish French or English so we'll click on English and then if we do a search for e-services you will see it comes up and it detects it within the image this can be very useful if you've had for instance one note on a, a mobile device you've gone to a meeting or a presentation and you've taken photos of PowerPoint slides with text in. You can right click on each of the images, make the 
texting them searchable and it depends on the quality of the image obviously if it's a poor blurred image you can't do it but if you've got a, a good image and the text is pretty straight on although it does work when the image is crooked um, you will find that it usually does manage to detect the text within the image and make it searchable other things you can do within OneNote this isn't so very useful when you're on a laptop but certainly when you're on a, a mobile device with a touch screen you can click on the draw tab and you can actually draw directly onto the page so you can handwrite notes and of course you've still got highlighters and things like that insert space can be very useful if you wanted to put some extra things there rather than moving everything down we can just click on insert space and you'll see it just breaks the page up a bit and gives us some room to just add some things in there if you wanted to another incredibly useful feature is insert you'll notice that insert space is on draw and on insert but the useful thing here is record audio and record video these do exactly what they say they will record either the audio or the video and embed them directly into the notebook so if you're at a meeting and you've got a decent microphone on your laptop you can literally hit record audio and it will record that meeting's audio all the way through and keep it in the notebook later on we can share notebooks and of course what this means is, ev is everyone has a full record of what was said in that meeting you can also add file attachments which would just bring up a normal windows file manager you can also add file attachments so any documents that you wanted to add you can put in through there directly add spreadsheets we can pop a table in you may recognize this from some of the other office programs we could just insert a table and you can type press tab to jump between the different cells and you can just type going back to websites we can also copy the URL and I can either type a little note Or I can create a link so you see I've just highlighted the word this right click and link it gives me the option to put a web page in or as you saw I can link to another notebook another section in the notebook or another page so if I click on there I've gone into the section CPD and word training you'll notice the underline is a dotted underline if I click on that it will take me straight to that page some people use OneNote as a bullet journal. If you're into bullet journaling, that linking can be very useful in your contents page of your bullet journal. You can also, within your notebook, move the sections around and move the pages around just by dragging them. If you wanted to delete a section or a page, you can easily right click and delete same on the section and as you can see you can also cut copy paste it somewhere else we could add a page drag it underneath and if you wanted this useful websites to be part of one now training as i said earlier you can have a sub page and to do that simply right click on the page and make sub page and you'll notice that it just indents and it indicates from the little list down the side that that's a sub page of OneNote training 
Even though it's a sub page, we can still move it around. When we do move it, of course, it stops being a sub page. But if we just needed to demote it, we could do it that way. And as I mentioned earlier, we can also have section groups. So although we have two sections there, we might look at CPD. And say, actually, CPD might be better as a section group. And we can, as you notice, I'll just drag that into the CPD section group. And rather than calling that CPD, we could call it And then we could have another section, which is admin training. And that page might be health and safety. And another page may be other training. So as you can see, we've got office training and admin training. If I click the little arrow there, it goes back and we can see that that's all within the CPD group. So that is a brief overview of OneNote.